guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I'm here at the Rock Island Auction House taking a look at some of the guns that are available for sale in their December 2014 premiere auction. Now I don't normally cover sporting rifles on the site, but this one I didn't even notice in the catalog. I uh, noticed it while we were perusing some of the guns here and it jumped out at me. In fact, it was pointed out to me by one of the other folks at Rock Island as being really kind of mechanically pretty cool. So I don't know very much about the history of it. Um, there aren't a whole lot of markings, and it is a sporter gun, so it's not like we can look this up in any sort of military history. What makes this gun really cool is, first of all, it's a fantastically manufactured sporting, it's a Mauser action, uh, has a double claw scope mount, uh, actually has a four power Zeiss scope on it, very nice scope, and uh, the main, the barrel is in 7x57 Mauser, which is that's a really nice mid-range cartridge, good cartridge. What makes it particularly interesting is this little bit. This is the breech for a second barrel running directly below the main barrel, which is in 22 long rifle. And this opens up. So this is, it's an over-under gun, but it's not a break action. It's kind of a double barrel bolt action, sort of. Now this was, it's a, a standard Mauser 98 style action, um, proofed, uh, commercial proofed in Germany. And it was, this was manufactured by the, the firm of Christoph Funk. Um, they're a, an established sporting gunsmith in Germany. I don't know if they're still in business today, but uh, they've made, they made a variety of shotguns, rifles, double guns, all sorts of sporting arms. And, and they manufactured this. We don't know exactly when. Uh, but it's this mechanical feature that I think makes it really interesting. So I'm going to bring the, uh, the camera around back here and show you a bit of a close-up on not just this breech, but all of the, the other elements that go together to make this a cool weapons package. We can start with the markings here on the, uh, the upper barrel. There is our Christoph Funk out of the city of Sul, uh, which has long been a, a center of German arms production. Now the top barrel, as you can see, is chambered for 7x57, or 7mm Mauser, which is an excellent mid-range hunting cartridge. Uh, the primary action on this gun is a standard Mauser-style action. You can see the bolt handle has been elongated to clear the scope. It has a standard 5-round flush box magazine. And we have a double trigger setup. Um, normally, this would indicate set triggers. In this case, it's not. In this case, the front trigger fires the 7mm Mauser barrel. The rear trigger is set up to fire the 22. So let's take a closer look at how that operates. The 22 breech is actually out here. The uh, 22 caliber barrel runs from this point under the handguard all the way out here to the muzzle. In order to load the 22, we lift this, rotate it up, and then we pull it forward like that. Let's take a look from a different angle. So we rotate, rotate out, we pull it up. You can see the end has been inletted here to give space for the 22 caliber breech. The stock has also been inletted here to allow you a clear path to load a cartridge. You can see there's a little claw extractor at the bottom of that chamber to push out empty cases or, or live unfired cases. What you would do is slide a cartridge in there, and then you simply push this down to put it in line with the barrel, and then rotate it to lock. Now the 22, if we put a round in, the 22 caliber barrel would be ready to fire. So let's take a look at the 22 caliber trigger. Now the 22 caliber firing pin is up here where the cartridge is. The trigger is all the way back here. There's actually a trigger linkage that runs all the way through the stock down here to the back. And then there's a second part of the trigger mechanism on the opposite side of the gun. So if we look back here by the action, we'll see this rather out of place knurled thumb pad. Kind of a question as to what that's for. This is actually the lever that allows you to cock the striker spring for the 22 caliber barrel. So if I want to fire the 22, I have to load it as we already did or showed. Then I put a thumb on that and I push it forward that has put pressure on the striker spring. That's cocked it. Now, pulling the rear trigger will fire the 22 caliber barrel. So, of course, it's a rim fire, so I don't want to dry fire it. 
We could also have the theoretical situation of being in the field and having cocked the 22, but then maybe we missed, you know, didn't have an opportunity to take a shot. We want to render the gun a little safer. What we can do is actually use this button to release the striker. I push this button and it unhooks the striker. Uh, if I just push it, it'll snap back. I figure we'll, we'll do it gently. So there's there it is cocked. Push the button. We'll gently let that down. Now the 22 caliber uh, firing mechanism is uncocked. There's no firing pin. There's no uh, spring pressure behind the firing pin, and it's safe to carry even if it's loaded. It's not not easily ready to fire. So I think the idea behind this this rifle design is really pretty ingenious. What it does is give you a pretty good medium game cartridge, seven millimeter Mauser for deer or hog or, or any sort of primary game like that. It also gives you that 22 caliber barrel for hunting something like small game, rabbits, squirrels, anything along those lines. If you're in an area where you can do both at the same time, this gives you a perfect way to be able to take either sort of game without, for one thing, you don't have the weight of say a double rifle uh, the 22 caliber barrel is able to be nice and small and thin because a 22 doesn't need to be particularly thick. It has a nice lightweight breech uh, mechanism. This gun handles basically just like a regular Mauser, maybe very slightly front heavy from the extra barrel, but not bad at all. So this is available for sale. It's part of Rock Island's December 2014 premiere auction. If you're interested in having it, and you know, really who wouldn't be? You can take a look at the link below. That'll take you to Rock Island's catalog page. You can take a look at their pictures, their description of it, and uh, place a bid online if you're so inclined. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.